Hello my lovely Trails fans, welcome back to our next episode of Trails from Zero. Alrighty, let's head on over to the admin district and chat with the rest of the lovely residents of Crossbell. It's been about 50 years since the City Hall building was constructed. It was designed by the hands of the famous architect, Jay Kendall. Its majesty and refined air perfectly represent Crossbell as a whole. My shop is a big hit with tourists. When you're tired from walking around all day sightseeing, nothing perks you up like a nice glass of juice. I'm so glad I chose a juice stand to start out. There's a lady over in the entertainment district who would appreciate a glass of your juice. It won't be much longer until we need to put together the draft for the next budget, and I'm sure once again the diet members will be clawing at our doors in order to make sure the budget benefits them. Ah, uh, I've got a killer headache already. As one of the city's patrol officers, I choose this area as my assignment. It may look like a dull place to watch, but a lot of detectives come through here. Since I'm aiming to earn my detective license, don't you think studying them is the perfect reference? Don't know how well you can study somebody by just watching them walk by. Hi guys, it's Crime Prevention Week at Headquarters. I'd like to remind you all to double check your doors and windows before leaving your home. The first key to prevention is being prepared. Crime Prevention Week. And this is the first time I've ever heard of it. Uh, well, I can't say I'm surprised the news hasn't got out about it. It'd be nice if the higher-ups allocated a larger budget towards spreading awareness. Looks like you've been hard at work. Let's fill it out a bit more. Thank you very much. Except this is compensation, 500 mirror, and some new material. Lovely Jubilee. Good afternoon, everyone. Did anything happen while you were investigating Amorica? No, nothing yet. We haven't learned anything more than what the CGF already noted down in the report. Ah, oh, what a shame. Oh yeah, I forgot that the CGF conducted their own investigation. I wonder if Noe was out in the field. Fran loves to boast about her older sister in the CGF. In fact, after hearing about her day in and day out, I feel like I know her just as well. C come on, Rebecca. Don't tease me like that. I only have so much to say because my sister hardly ever contacts me herself. That's all it is. It's not like I'm feeling lonely or anything like that. No sorry. Can't say I ever feel good going to headquarters, but being around these lovely ladies always brightens my day. I'm beginning to understand why these two were appointed as receptionists. Oh, so I wonder if uh, that's the... Noe was the girl that Lloyd thought he recognised if she looks a little like Fran. Well, the rookies' patrol routes are finally settled, now at least. What about you though, Officer Kate? A veteran like you should go to a district with weaker support. Officer, please, spare me the veteran title. It makes me sound so old. Sorry about that, ma'am. It's come to my understanding that last month's incident involved a diet member. I guess it's no surprise that the top brass is acting all wishy-washy about the whole thing. All they need to know is it involves a politician and that's it. Another CPD special. Why not just arrest the politician? Well, it's not that simple. They haven't stopped us outright, but they've been pressuring us to drop it in more roundabout ways. So we gotta tread lightly with this investigation. Oh, what do we have here? This dude's wife is smoking hot. Hehehe, <laughs> I suddenly feel more motivated to do some investigating. He sounds just like you, Randy. Uh, excuse me? Isn't everyone like that? A bit of eye candy is really all you need to perk back up when you're in a slump. Just a bunch of perverts working in this police department. Alright, let's uh, pop into the admin building real quick. Someone walking around us though. Already spoke to him. Alright, let's see who's in City Hall. Welcome to Crossbell City Hall. If you're here to inquire about the hours of operation for our Robo Bus service, then you've come to the right place. The service itself is under the jurisdiction of the Transportation Division though. I appreciate that Crossbell's government has been putting more effort into expanding the Orbital Bus Service in recent years. I wish the politicians had better intentions behind their actions, though. 
They're only making these efforts in order to garner popularity. Can't complain though, it's not like the bus line isn't a valuable part of our lives. True, true. It's a shame they don't do it more altruistically, but at least it's getting done. Any individual can check out up to three books at a time. That's the most we can keep up with, unfortunately, given how understaffed we are. I think the locals would find it easier if they could borrow up to five books, though. Expand it, then. Let them take five. They'll love it. There's hardly any knowledgeable... About, there's hardly anyone knowledgeable about Crossbell's rich history. Sure, someone might be able to tell you history about the last 50 years, but go back 200? No, even 100 years? And the zilch? Nada. I'm so curious as to how Crossbell evolved into what it is today. I'm honestly shocked that no one else seems fascinated by it. Train Fanatic Rex is on the shelf. Uh, I think we already read this one. It's one of the books we returned. Okay, still only part one. Uh, still only one volume. Okay. You're looking for the fairy tale about the White Wolf? I remember seeing it over on the first floor in the children's reading section. I imagine you'll have luck finding it in that area. It's a relief that the library carries so many children's books, and yet I've noticed that it gets so few visitors. I wonder why that is. Mum, what happens next? I don't know, how long is this uh, fairy tale? six pages. I want to do them all in one go, but if uh, I'm, I'm going to be reading this out, but if anyone wants to pause and take a look at this uh, beforehand, then go ahead and just pause them now, so then you can read them. But I will, uh, once all volumes are out, I'm going to be reading it all in one go. Alrighty, back onto the road. Because I'm sure it has a little bit of a lore in there for these uh, white wolves that we're going to be coming across, but I prefer to read an, an entire saga in one go rather than bits and pieces throughout the entire game, because otherwise I just forget what it's even talking about. If you're looking for Grace, she's not here right now. She left the office earlier today with a mischievous grin on her face. I'm guessing she's on the hunt for her latest scoop. Now that Grace is out of town, our editing session went a lot quicker than it usually does. It's pretty normal for her to go full throttle during our session, so they usually end up devolving into heated arguments. Well, she can write one hell of an interesting article, so I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Oh, what's up? Are you here to see Grace? She's off on a business trip, unfortunately. Given the time of day, she's probably out snapping photos of Heimdall, I'd guess. What's with all the people exercising in the park these days? Probably just the trendy thing to do. Maybe I should give it a try. Judge my noodles not by the stall they're served from, but by their quality. I wake up at the crack of dawn to prepare the noodles and let them rest. Once they're ready, I bring them here and I boil them. Try as they might, no other stall will ever come close to the ones I've got right here. Huh? Where's the, this company supposed to be? I've never delivered anything to them before. The addressees for these newly constructed buildings make absolutely no sense. W wait, Celine's here too? I guess none of us can take things easy with casting announcements being made next week. So Nikolai's been doing his running here. Well, I'm not going to let him get an edge over me. Especially not after Rixia has already... Oh, hello, what's going on here, then? I heard that there's all sorts of fun to be had over in Michelle. <laughs> I can hardly wait. I'm taking my daughter to Michelle. It'll be our first time riding on one of these cruise ships, so we're pretty excited. Whoa, this boat is huge. I've never been on a boat before. I missed the last ship because I was too busy eating my lunch. But it looks like the next one's coming way sooner than I thought. Maybe I don't really need to hurry after all. To all passengers travelling to Michelin, the ship will depart in five minutes. 
We thank you for your patience. This is the ship that takes you to Michelle, and I knew the result was popular, but it's clearly even more extravagant than I expected. Well, yeah, extravagance is what Michelle is all about. It's got a theme park, ritzy shops, and all kinds of other fun spots to check out. Wait, you're telling me you've never been, Lloyd? Nope, can't say I have. They built the place while I was living abroad. Well, we'll have to introduce you to it sometime, but for now, we ought to get back to work. I'm sure I'll have a quest that'll take us over there. So it's that damn cruise ship, is it? The blasted thing is getting right in the way of my fishing. Why, I oughta. Yeah, I guess something like that would scare away the fish. Right, let's pop on over to the IBC before we go to the East District and downtown. It's been about 10 years since I was first assigned to work for the IBC security department. Around the time this building was finished, I think. Yeah, that was a pretty busy year for me. I had just taken up a new post only to be reassigned to the IBC's main building. Uh, I see, it requires more research, I take it. Even though it's theoretically possible, its operational capacity can't keep up. It still suffers from limitations despite using the Epstein Foundation's most top-of-the-line equipment. They're discussing something far beyond my comprehension. To be fair, the Chief is the most knowledgeable specialist in all of Crossbell. It would be more surprising if you were able to follow along. We like to boast about how this building is the safest place on the entire continent. Modern buildings require modern security, and we don't hold back. Our security system utilizes the latest and all engineering advances. Not to mention, our security department is full of trained professionals. It doesn't matter if you're the greatest criminal in the world, this establishment is impenetrable. Oh really? I have a feeling this place is going to get robbed. Not, not by us, of course, but you know, a, a mission later on. Crossbell has managed to remain prosperous through its entire history by engaging in trade and exchanging septium. However, the older methods are no longer valid with the rise of orbital technology. The age of financial investments has begun. Don't waste my time with any small deals. There have been apparently been monsters popping up all over the place. Our department managed to receive some of the reports on it. I heard that an intern at St. Ursula was attacked. That's some scary stuff, man. I feel for them. Our reception desk can provide you with any information you need about the operations taking place here. Our building is actually home to 20 different companies. Please refer to this desk if any of them are expecting you. Click, clack, click, clack, clack. Hello, my dear customers. Are you here to open an account? You can use your IBC accounts to withdraw Mira at any of our branches across the continent. They also work at any of our partnered banks. Pretty convenient, huh? So what do you say? Shall we get one started? I'm thinking of buying a rather expensive gift for my grandchild's birthday. One, two, three... Yep, I've got the full amount. Sprint right to the East District. Azzy hasn't come back home for a while now. Jeez, what's he even doing? Serena's been worried out of her mind about him. My little brother's been living downtown for way too long now, so I've decided to take time off of work to bring him back myself. And even though it's entirely just a personal family issue, my boss told me this would all be treated as a paid vacation. He's a kind man. Alright then, I think I'll try paying the downtown district a little visit tomorrow. My neighbour Serena works hard to provide for her family by herself. She's so responsible for a girl so young, I really have no idea how she does it. As for Fran, now that she has a stable job with the CPD, I think she's at the age where she might want to consider moving out on her own. But then again, that girl tends to get a little lonely all too easily. How am I supposed to take an afternoon nap with all the racket out on the street? I'd noticed the walls were thin when I first moved in here, but now I'm convinced they're little more than a sheet of paper. Huh? There's something going on in the street? Oh, I guess he's just complaining about the people passing by. Why doesn't really want to run a store at all? He told me he's charging his life's batteries right now. 
Those fancy Obo vehicles have become more popular in the last few years. Not only that, but they've been beginning to use them to deliver goods for Calvert. They're definitely more convenient for small deliveries than trains are, that's for sure. You kids better watch both sides of the street for cars, too. Any resident of East Street can find all of life's necessities here with ease. If you go down the street a bit, you'll find all kinds of vendors. If you're looking for special items, you can put in a request. To be honest, this is probably the most convenient street to live on in the city. I'm friggin' starved. Think I'll hit up Lang Lo for some grub. Long Lao. Not Lang Lo. Long Lao. Crossbell Guardian Force has been making some impressive moves as of late. Their commander may be a real scumbag, but they've got a capable deputy commander. I think we'll just sit back and observe for a while, see where this all takes us, you know? Hey rookies, how you doing? We're doing good, thanks for asking. It's pretty rare to run into you here. I'm guessing you don't have to go outside the city for work today? Yep, I just got back yesterday. I complained to Michelle about all of the out-of-town jobs he's been sending me on recently, so I think I'll be spared for a little bit at least. <laughs> Sounds like you braces end up running around everywhere even more than us. Oh, I'm so happy to see you again, Tio. Gosh, you're such a cutie. I can never get enough of you. Can I hug you? Please? Help. Aeolia's mind totally breaks whenever she sees Tio. Man, a smoking hot foreign girl like her is totally my type. But it seems she's only got eyes for you, Tio Top. Not much I can do, so I'll let you have this one. What am I supposed to do? Ugh, just wait if Annalise saw Tio. She'd probably die of cuteness. Overload. I've been having some pretty steady sales lately. I'm sure I'm glad people are enjoying my works. Hey, I may have cut the heck out of my hands making all this stuff, but it sure was worth it. Hmm, I'm pretty sure it's cheapest to buy from Din's Fresh in bulk right now. On the other hand, the key to vegetables is to keep them fresh, so maybe I should only buy a few of them. I'll think on it while I check out some other stores. I did talk to this girl, right? Yeah, I did. I can't tell if Dins is even interested in running a serious business. I've seen him go around handing out unsold vegetables for free around the neighbourhood. He can be way too nice for his own good at times. Welcome folks, we've got the finest produce available today. Not to brag or anything, but I haven't taken a single day of vacation ever since I set up this stall. Can't leave our valuable customers waiting after all. Dude, you need to get a hobby or something. The marketplace is pretty useful for talking to various store owners. Some of the ladies here taught me a simple and useful way to prepare fish when I'm running low on time. You guys know about the Fisherman's Guild just up the street, right? Those guys always just stand there and stare at my fish whenever they pass by. What's the problem? They're hungry? I heard about it from Copen. Man, I'm so pumped that we got ourselves another new member. You better tell us whenever you make some great catches, okay? We'll be looking forward to hearing all about it. Congrats! Looks like you finally become a member of our fine guild. Man, Copen sure snatched you up quick. I was going to personally invite you myself. Oh, you were? Wait, what? When the heck did I join the Fisherman's Guild? I mean, sure, I did accept that fishing rod earlier. <laughs> don't sweat the details, kid. You're already our comrade in rods. I don't think I'm getting out of this one. Still, it looks like they all share a love for fishing. It'd be nice to have some people to talk to about it. Hey there, Lloyd. Are you aware of the rank certification exam? Our guild grants ranks the chorus that correspond to how skilled of an angler you are. <laughs> if you become an ace angler, I bet you'd be legendary in Crossbell. Anyway, kid, if there's anything you don't get, feel free to ask me. I'll give you a thorough explanation. Well, I appreciate that. Huh, did you guys return by bus too? Guess we weren't on the same bus though. Eh, whatever. I already let the branch manager know the news. Everyone's downstairs, so feel free to head that way yourself if you need anything. Wouldn't hurt to ask about the rank certification exam, you know? I wonder if Estelle is already a, a, a member here. She's like a legendary fisher back in the bell. Oh, and uh, from what I remember, Dr. Neil Cortex uh, reminded us that it was this lovely family who gave us the lemonade. So let's see if we can thank them. 
It's nice to see you again, but oh my, you look exhausted. What happened? <laughs> Don't worry about us, we're fine. Right, we managed to survive. Had we not taken that break, though? Thank you for the lemonade, Mrs. Parlow. It definitely came in handy. Aw, so sweet. I must leave for tonight's meeting. I have to organise the general meeting and submit our financial statements. The anniversary festival's nearing, so I'll also need to get in touch with the mayor soon. <laughs> yeah, I figured you'd be really busy, Chairman Moores. Of course, I may be old, but work still keeps me busy every day. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, one of my good buds drives a delivery route through the Empire. The Imperial border sounds like a pain in the ass to get through, though. I just graduated from Sunday school earlier this year. I've been thinking about what I should do, but I decided I should help with the business. I mean, look at Daddy. He's got a mean face and he's always glaring at customers. I doubt I could leave him to run things alone. Rum, yum, yum, yum. What the fudge, Puck? Don't eat that steam bun, it's mine! Well then, maybe you should lay off the dumplings. All that garlic in them is going to give you some seriously stinky breath. She may only be helping out, but even Shan Shan's managed to work for a business. There's no way we can't do it too. Man, Shan Shan's so cute. She might just be the perfect waitress. Enough about her though, more importantly. Chief, what are you doing here? Oh, hey guys. Fancy seeing you here. How's the investigation? Coming along smoothly? I suppose you could say that, yes. We're planning to head to St. Ursula Medical College next. Yeah, glad to see you're all working hard. Well, good luck with that. Looking forward to hearing your report later. I don't think he actually works. He just kind of is our leader, quote-unquote. <laughs> this customer really gets it. Our master's from the Eastern Quarter, so our Shah Su pork is the best you'll find in Western Zumeria. Ah, uh, Shan Shan is one stubborn girl. I've told her many times before to not bother helping me around the store, and yet... Uh, she loves her daddy, just to make sure he's okay. Okay, we're finished eating. It's time for us to go and buy what we came for. Yay, I can't wait! <laughs> you sure love Mishy, don't you? Okay, time to head downtown. Ah, this week's stock prices, eh? I know it's pathetic of me, but I still indulge in the occasional business magazine. I can't seem to shake some of the habits I had from my days as a trader. Ah, uh, this reference book is ruthless. How hard can this thing get? I want to buy a book that's easy to understand, but I'm strapped for a mirror. G what am I going to do? This month is looking tight. If you're struggling to understand that reference book for your exam, well, you may not do any better with a different one. Apparently, a young lady moved into one of the apartments by herself. Who knows, maybe she doesn't have any relatives like myself. Oh, the young lady is not there right now. Daddy's at work every day. He works in construction, so he leaves early in the morning. But then when he gets home at night, I'm already asleep. I barely even get to see Daddy. Aw, poor girl. One of the Diet members came by earlier. They were... There were mentions of demolishing the downtown district in order to redevelop it, I think. The downtown district will cease to exist, won't it? If that happens, then we'll have to move. Uh, yeah, and that's the bad thing as well, is that they want to redevelop this place, but these people are probably not going to be able to afford to live in the redeveloped area, so, you know, where are they going to live? The door is shut tight, a voice can be heard inside. Our goal is all I need. I do believe it's been about 20 years since the Crossbell Station was built. I remember there being a gigantic celebration to usher it in. These days we even have an airport. Life sure is much more convenient now. 
We've still got Station Street, don't we, to go down. That'll be the last street. My old man's still drinking his life away back in his room. It's already noon and he's still at it. <laughs> that deadbeat's only skill is how much booze he can hold down. What a loser. I feel sorry for that kid. <laughs> at least Van has a dad. He is a deadbeat though. And she doesn't have a dad. By the sounds of it. That's real sad. Ah, these must be the new type of courts for the Enigma unit. Yeah, those are the ones. I've got a new stock of merchandise from the CGF. Damn, these new ornaments aren't popular with customers at all. Almost feels like a waste of space to have them stocked. Wait, the CGF is selling them to you? Yeah, you'll find that crap anywhere you look. A whole lot more corruption in their ranks than you'd like to believe. Looks like even the ZGF has begun to fully embrace newer model ornaments. Not only that, but they've started to utilize state-of-the-art quartz. They're still slowly being phased in, though. You know, Mama's got some history with this one Jaeger guy I've seen in here before. Old geezer looks like he can pack a real mean punch. Wolf's still alive, right? I wonder if she's talking about Wolf. Oh yeah, we just need to trade like three of those other quartz in if we want one of those. That's how we can upgrade our Tira bombs to uh, a Tira, which is a little bit more useful in the end game. I'm so damn bored. We haven't been getting into any fights with Vipers lately. I can't let this lull put a damper in my skills. I better practice shooting a slingshot for a little while. I've been practicing martial arts ever since I was a kid. I'm pretty confident in hand-to-hand -to -hand combat too. Azel must continue to visit the hospital for regular checkups. Such is necessary given his extended period of unconsciousness. The CGF's hunting wolf-like monsters out in the mountains? Uh, I'm admittedly a little curious about our wolven friends. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it a hunt, they're just patrolling the area. Hey, where'd you find something like that out anyway? <laughs> Looks like there's some truth to my words. I'm pretty sure I remember hearing a similar story in the church's testaments. A white wolf keeps vigil over this karmic land, but here is where the bell tolls. Or something like that, I think. I don't really believe in it, though. Uh, oh, really? That's the same story the, vif the village chief told us. I wasn't expecting to hear that from you, of all people. Got a bit of a religious background, it sounds. I was walking along East Street earlier when a w woman called out to me. It turns out it was Azel's sister. She was wondering how he was doing. Sh she's pretty worried about him since he was hospitalized. I can't find the right timing to apologize to my sister. I thought I'd be able to offer a bit of reassurance since I've been worrying her. I guess I'll apologize to her after checkups and say that I'm fully recovered. Uh, why don't you just go over now? She's going to be dragging you back by your ears tomorrow. Hazel will need to return to the hospital for regular checkups for a while. Don't worry though, we all plan on pitching in for the hospital bills. He's got some good friends. It's just a shame that the uh, don't put that energy to uh, better things rather than thuggery. I had three more repair jobs come through my door today. Dang, I really don't get enough help around here. Be nice if I still had an apprentice to help out. Uh, okay, so these are the sledgehammer. We have enough to upgrade one weapon. An enhanced orbital staff able to amplify the user's will. That actually increases heart strength. That better RNG. Sorry, range. Huh. Do I want extra art strength or do I want to give a halberd modified with metal plates cobbled together? That's a tough one. A lot of extra strength, or stronger art with more range. Range would be useful too. 
Uh, I feel like things are usually weaker against arts in the Trail series than physical attacks. Uh, okay. I hope I, uh, I don't regret this, but let's go ahead. So, we're gonna do hers first. The next time we'll do his. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and upgrade. So... This is an enhanced orbital staff able to amplify the user's will. We're getting close to getting another upgrade material, so it's not that bad. That's 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 gonna help us out. That's gonna help us out. I like to carry this bag around to store any scraps I manage to find. The traders check out what I've picked up and end up buying some of it. At the end of the day, the streets are cleaner now that's killing two birds with one stone. A boy's the real MVP. Keeping this city clean. You're still a total newbie. We're gonna make sure you got all the rules down one by one. Now listen up, first thing you gotta learn is how to greet a fellow viper. Whenever Wald or any of the other senior members come up to you, you gotta hit them with a sup. Got it? S sup! Some chick moved into Lotus Heights all by herself. She must have a whole lot of screws loose if she thinks living alone here is a good idea. But her rack, sweet. Adios, don't even get me started. We see those jackasses from the government around here sometimes too. They say it's for a redevelopment survey? <laughs> Bunch of dumbasses. We sent them packing real quick. Damn suits. They can piss off out of here and go straight to Gehenna. Koki was discharged from the hospital, but he's still going back there for regular checkups. Screw those guys. Avash must think this they're hot shit. Yeah, 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 yeah! Eyes on me, get your eyes on me. I'm hungry like a bee, so you better flee. You guys hear some chick moved into Lotus Heights all by herself? Can you guys believe it? What kind of girl lives alone in the downtown district? <laughs> I scoped her out real quick too. She looked dumb as hell. Uh, she's probably a little desperate. Don't have a lot of the moolah. Alrighty, let's just scope out Station Street real quick. As a child, I always dreamed of becoming a railway engineer, but one day I decided to stick to admiration instead. That's why I'm a train buff now. There sure are a lot of interesting things going on in Crossbell, aren't there? It sure makes this old heart of mine start bumping with excitement. My, you're as excited as a child in a candy store. Do try to calm down a little, okay dear? I just received cargo from the Republic a few moments ago. To be delivered to... For real? I gotta make this all the way to Mainz? Ah, uh, I'll have to hurry up or else the sun will set on me. And that is where we're gonna call our episode today. So, we've managed to speak to everybody. I don't think I have missed anyone. If I have, feel free to leave a comment and let me know and I'll go back in there and double check with them what they have to say. But next episode, um, there's a couple, we've got a couple of new art moves, um, so I'm going to try and show those off at the beginning of the next episode before we get into it. But next episode, we will be heading to Ursula Road, um, and hopefully we can make our way to the, to the medical college and find out what's going on over there. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you know when the next episode's coming out. Feel free to leave a comment on the video, and if you want to watch some X4 Foundations, head on over to my other channel, Captain Chandra, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.